Um, hold on. Wow, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Dude, what? That's how clumsy I am. I just literally poked myself in the eye with a brush that I was holding. What? <laughs> Hi loves, what is up? It's Shigali Shigali here back at it with another video and in today's video as you guys can tell this will be a full get ready with me hair, makeup, and even outfits. Um, so before we jump into the video I want to give a huge shout out to Dossier Company. For those of you guys who don't know what Dossier is, they are an actual fragrance company so for us the ladies who love to smell good if you love to smell good if you are obsessed with um fragrances perfumes all of that type of stuff lotions everything like that then this company is going to be super good for you if you are a fragrance addict just like me then please check the description box down below for all of their information you guys i mean why not you're getting a high-end perfume for the low low okay <laughs> actually got two fragrances from this company so one is called oriental floral 2 and this scent was inspired by Lancome so as you guys know they also have like a whole bunch of inspired scents by Chanel Gucci all of that type of stuff so here is this scent that I got. Now, I have to say, out of the two that I got, this one right here is my favorite. Favorite. I cannot leave the house without any fragrance on my body. I just feel I'm, I'm not going to feel complete, okay? So, love this scent. And the second scent that I received from them is their floral two scent now this scent is inspired by gucci's bloom and when you get your package you would get a full size and also like a mini travel size which i think is super cute because you don't always have enough space in your bag to carry around this full size in case you need to like freshen up a little bit so um i think this is really dope oh my god it smells so good and it also has like the ingredients on the bottle is super cute wow this is so cute okay so if you guys are interested in seeing this full get ready with me and everything that you will need to get this bomb look and also the details on this outfit then definitely keep on watching Alrighty love, so getting into the hair portion of this video, as you guys can tell, this hair is from my first wig. I will have all of the information on the type of wig that I have in the description box down below. So make sure you guys go and check that out. Just showing you guys the unboxing and soon you will see how I installed this wig and how it's pretty much 100% glueless. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this glueless frontal wig look, then keep on watching. Not gonna lie y'all, at first I was a little scared of how this was gonna look because it wasn't styled and the hair was kind of looking a little crazy because it has been in a box. But that's where your talent comes in, where you gotta make the hair kind of look like something special. So, yep, just continue to watch, see how I made this wig look really good. And again, all of the information will be in the description box down below.
Alright y'all, so this is the makeup portion for this video. Um, I'm not really worried about my hair right now. We did it. It's glueless, which is amazing. So we are about to start off with eyeshadow. I already did my brows. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. And I just used my Too Faced Concealer in the shade Warm Sand to carve out my eyebrows. And then I just blended it out with a brush just so that we can get rid of those harsh lines. So for eyeshadow today, we're gonna do something very simple, very subtle, but still very cute and like still springy, okay? <laughs> for today's look, we're gonna be dipping into the Juvia's Place palettes. So I'm gonna be taking the Afrique and the Saharan by Juvia's Place. Now these will go great together for any springtime look. Um, let me show you how the Afrique looks. It has like your bright colors in there, but I'm mainly focusing on this palette because of the browns. I'm gonna use those today. For the Saharan, this is also very pretty, very nice. I love this palette for sure. This black is bomb. So yeah, we're just gonna get started. All right, so I'm gonna dip into the shade Cameron and also Dakar. And I'm just gonna mix those together and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. And I'm taking this on a Morphe M573 brush. It's super fluffy. How are you guys doing during this self quarantine? Are you guys like at that stage where you are just going crazy because you're stuck in the house or if you're like me, then you enjoy being in a house. I love being in a house. Um, I know that everybody is dying, but I'm, I'm loving it. So comment down below, let me know how you guys are dealing and handling, you know, this self quarantine situation and how you guys feel about it. Let me know, leave some comments down below. For me, I just don't want this to affect my birthday. That's my only concern, okay? And from the looks of it, it looks like it's going to. But God willing, the Lord knows best. I believe everything will be okay. Now that we have this on our eyes, I feel like this is so pretty. Oh my God. Yes. All right. So next, I'm going to dip into the Saharan and I'm taking the Kat Katsina and Jamila shade. And I'm just going to take this color and kind of just like pack this on my lid. Actually, I'm just gonna stick with the Katsina shade. And we are just patting the shade on our lid. Okay, and now that that is done, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna dip into like this pigment. It's, it's like white crystals. And I think that this will be really cute on my eyes, actually. So, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I haven't used this yet, so I'm excited to see how well this will turn out. Um, Y'all know I hate glitter, I hate like the shimmers and all that stuff, but we are gonna try it today. And to add to this look, I'm gonna go in with my wing liner. We're just gonna do like, I might do a thick one just cause. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Oil. And then I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Grip Primer. Love this. Yo, these two primers together is like the best thing ever. If you just wanna look like dewy or something, definitely, definitely get this. 
For foundation, I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation in the shade Tahoe. Love this, one of my favorite foundations ever. Take that on a flat top brush and we're just going to just blend this on our face. Make sure that everything is nice and seamless. No lumps, no bumps. Full coverage. Can you guys believe that I am almost at 50K? Like, ooh. I just can't believe it. My goal for this year is to get 100K. And I think I could do it. I just have to be consistent, you know, and just continue doing what I've been. And I just, I don't know. It's just hard because I know what videos that you guys like to see, but it will get like really repetitive and boring if I was to do the same videos over and over and over again. And I know that um, I definitely do a lot of the get ready with me's, the two in ones, the three in ones, but it's because I feel like I can always switch that up. Like it's a different um, wig each um, video. Okay, and for concealer, I'm using my favorite, the Too Faced Born This Way. Now this is in the shade Warm Sand. Y'all, Tarte was having a sale on their concealers, their Shape Tape. Y'all know the Shape Tape is like almost $30. They were selling it for $13. I don't know if that sale is still going on, but if it is, you're welcome. <laughs> so I'm going to blend out my concealer with a brush just because I don't feel like cleaning any of my beauty blenders. They are all dirty and I don't got time to get up right now. That's like the most annoying thing ever. When you start doing your makeup, and you realize that you have no clean beauty blenders. So you gotta stop, get up, and go get one. And go wash it at that, like what? And I'm also gonna go over top of that with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 16. Just underneath my eyes, just gonna allow it to dry. Okay, now for a setting powder, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline New York um, Shine Free Loose Powder in the shade Medium O2. And as you guys can see, it took away all of that shininess, and now I am a bit more matte, which is like what we wanna do because our concealer was just too wet on our face, so we definitely had to set that. So for contour, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty in the shade Coco Naughty. Just gonna bronze our face up. Also gonna drag the powder on our sides of our nose as well and also on our jawline. I'm also gonna dip into my Morphe um, contour palette. This is in the shade Showmance. I forgot I even had this, y'all. This right here, this. Mm. I think I might actually like this over my Fenty. For sure. This, and it was just $10. Okay, and you guys know the drill with my blush. Mm -mm. I'm gonna go in with the glass slipper. And this shade is from ColourPop. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with my Mario Badescu. Eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with some black eyeliner. We're not done with our eyes just yet. I'm gonna go in with the same shades that we used in the beginning and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line. The mascara on my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna add some of that glitter to the inner corner of our eyes just to add like a pop of, you know, just something, get the front looking a little exciting. I'm gonna be trying a new highlighter today. I'm gonna use the Milk 
flex highlighter in the shade glaze you guys this is so pretty it's like a very nice gold champagne color and I think this matches why wow. Yeah, I look like a bronze goddess right now. My ColourPop lipstick in the shade Butter Cream. And I think our makeup is done. Let me unpin my hair. See how all this is looking. The front of my hair. All right, you guys, so hair and makeup is complete, and now it is time for the outfit. Do you guys like the hair? I feel like, I look like somebody auntie, but in a cute way, you know? <laughs> Here is the bodysuit. It has a cutout part in the midsection area. I'm gonna put this on. And I decided to pair this with some leather pants I think this will be and I decided to pair this with some leather pants I think this will be really cute okay so this is how we're looking so far the shoes that I will be wearing with this outfit I feel like it adds to the look and it's super cute like as long as you spray something on yourself us as women we like to smell good so I feel like that is super important so I'm going to use the Oriental Floral 2 scent and oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god, okay. So y'all know the areas that y'all gotta spray, okay? On the wrist, rub together, and even pat down here. Enough fragrance talk. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl's channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these um, full get ready with me videos. Before we head out, today's motivational quote is, don't look at all things like it's a loss. Sometimes it's just God helping you clean house. Okay, and that's so on period. <laughs> so with that being said, I will see you loves in my next video. Bye.